So how are they truly feeling about you right now? Let's start off with a tarot card. Ten of Swords. Let's look at messages from the heart card. Destiny. Let's look at their emotions. Love. And let's look at a message card and we're going to look at lots more of all of these cards as we go through this reading. I want to share my life with you. The Ten of Pentacles. So what I'm really feeling is this person has been through a lot recently. Ten of Swords, this is betrayal energy. This is someone that's been stabbed in the back. Your person's gone through intense towel moments. Um, look, there's someone running away here and the, the cat is like screeching at this person. And so I really feel like your person has been needing help this could be currently this could be past energy whatever resonates okay tennis swords a lot of destruction a lot of emotional turmoil a lot of emotional pain take it however it resonates it could be the other way around this could be what you've been feeling i feel this is external energy I don't feel for many of you this is actually your person that's made you feel this way. Um, for some of you it could be, but this person, they've been really struggling and needing help, okay? Look, it's like they've felt disempowered and they're really trying to grab a hold of their broom and pick themselves up, but they felt stuck. It's like this person's pinned to the ground almost. Um, this person's felt imprisoned in something extremely toxic here. They really feel like destiny brought you together. Destiny brought you into their life um, in order to help them. Look, they're, it's like they were reaching out for help and you come in with love. This is true love. It's like they've experienced the exact opposite of love in a very intense way. This is something that's really... Um, it took their self-esteem. It made them feel so disempowered. But we have destiny, the angel. Fated, guided by spirit, soul contract, divine, meant to be surrender. It will happen. Soul path, soul agreements. They feel as though the universe sent you to them to help them. Because Ten of Swords is a painful death. But Whatever's happened here, it's like been the death of their ego, the death of their full self, death of things that aren't serving so that they can be reborn again in love. So this is a huge metamorphosis for your person. Um, they feel that your connection <clears throat> is true love. It's such powerful. It's been such a powerful wake up call for your person. I want to share my life with you. So this is a very toxic, destructive energy, Ten of Swords. But with you, they have the Ten of Pentacles. They feel so much stability. It just said 333. So this is the power of love. Love is the only real thing beneath everything and beneath every illusion. So this was a lot of death of illusions. They really feel like they're on track or You've helped them see the light. You've helped them get back on their path or awaken perhaps in the first place for some people. They want to share their life with you. They feel that this is an infinite connection. They feel like you are their soulmate. There was this soul contract, soul agreement for you to meet, um, to help each other through this metamorphosis into more of who you truly are on the soul level. So let's look deeper into all of this. How are they truly feeling about you? Yeah, look, the tower is here. But look how she's smiling. Um, they really feel that you've come in and you have really woken them up to love. You've helped them really see that everything happens for a reason. And just like this tower card, all this destruction has been a blessing in disguise. It's really made them go through the fire. It's really made them face their biggest fears um, and dissolve a lot of those fears. Now your person is feeling so much more confident 
and it is knowing the strength of their own light of their own goodness of their own love that they are that power of love okay i feel like this ten of swords energy would have been someone or some sort of circumstance trying to make them feel bad about themselves it was trying to make them feel a lot of shame and darkness and imprisonment in all of that to disempower them this is someone that was controlling but there was a tower moment this needed to end in a spectacular way this person the karmic person was contracted in to help with this destruction and then they feel like you came in to help them step into the love um as they as that all of that density of false self was crumbled and this came out with, wow, the two of cups. So this, and look how much light is here. This is source energy. This is the love. Um, there's a deep soul recognition between you both. They recognize you and they remembered who they really are, why they're here on earth. They remembered this true love. Um, and they remembered, oh yes, I'm here on a mission. I'm I'm here to remember to be joyful and this is just immense love. Look at these cats. One's giving a fish to the other one. Um, this was the power of love came in and created that towel moment. Towel moments are um, divine intervention. Someone was definitely feeling so stuck in a very toxic situation or maybe toxic mindsets all things like that and so the power of love came in like lightning to crumble this imprisonment you came in and really changed their vibration you changed their focus this person they couldn't stop thinking about you. They couldn't stop feeling this love. They feel absolutely enveloped in this love. It's a protective energy and they felt the divine really sent you to them. So they knew the divine had their back. It gave them the strength to face this towel moment. And I feel like your person was trying to escape um, whatever that toxic situation was and this was the power of love to come in and really really support them and make them know that spirit has their back that you have their back and they felt like protected in so much powerful love how else are they truly feeling we have judgment yeah this one you came in and it was this wake-up call from the divine this is about rising up this is rising up in awareness this is rising out of these struggles feeling the soul calling feeling the divine waking them up and remembering that they are the strength of love they are here to be on this path which is so amazing yes yeah, six of swords wow this is all about normally shows the boat moving out of the choppy waters into calmer waters so moving out of adversity into calmness into love into awakening into freedom this six of swords obviously comes after the five of swords which is the pushing away energy i feel like your person was desperately trying to push away this toxicity but they felt ensnared in it um but yeah this normally shows man woman and child they feel like you came in to help them um cross that river so to speak Come out of old earth to new earth, out of unconsciousness into consciousness, out of fear into love. This is really, really powerful, really profound. So let's look at some more of the messages from the heart cards, their true feelings, jealousy and insecure. I feel whoever this toxic person was, they had a lot of jealousy, envy, sabotage. This person was trying to sabotage them constantly, but they would have been playing mind games. They would have been making out that they were all for this person, but really they were all against them. They were wanting to extract from this person, this person's energy, this person's bright light this person's happiness and um, maybe even practical things like finances as well this person i feel had 
definitely had like narcissistic tendencies, jealousy. It says third party interference, backstabbing and anger. So how, how they really feel. This could be the toxic person, the karmic person found out about your connection and was trying to sabotage it interference backstabbing yeah look backstabbing and we had the ten of swords which is what that is all about someone really didn't have this person's highest good in mind and was purposely trying to make them feel insecure anxious low self-esteem poor self-image nervous not feeling good enough and yeah mind games again someone was um making them feel very unstable we had the tower card making them feel this would have been someone that would have been threatening this person you know if, if they were going to leave they they were threatening to like destroy their life and they may have actually tried to do this with that tower card as well but this all happened for a reason with the judgment this is rising up out of the fears and these insecurities your person's become very empowered with the help of you social media so you could have some sort of communication on social media online it's a spying on you catfishing stalking obsession i don't feel like a toxic energy with this though i feel um this person may watch you online um look you up online but again there could be some sort of communication or for some of you maybe um you're gonna hear from this person online i'm seeing at the bottom of the deck innocent so i really feel this toxic person was trying to interfere in certain ways by making this person appear to be like this evil person i feel like this narcissist was projecting all their own qualities on this innocent person they this person is pure their heart is in the right place they were naive okay i feel like they'd never really dealt with someone this toxic so they didn't know what they were up against because the person was playing mind games so they were pretending to be nice um so this person was in like this fog of confusion a lot of the time um childlike your person has pure intentions yeah inexperienced Again, they weren't experienced in a narcissistic relationship. They mean well, you can trust them. I feel like you came in and you saw this person's beauty. You know who they really are. You know they're this angelic nature. They are the light. They are the purity. And this was, you were this bright shining light and it just made them remember who they are as well so that they could you know whatever light shines upon turns into light this toxic person was trying to keep them in the dark in the shadow in fear the fog of confusion and not being able to see themselves clearly you are the truth you are the love you are the light that light shone on the shadow and highlighted or exposed everything to this person to be the light made them wake up and realize yeah your person's been in a lot of stress i feel like this would have been purposely like the toxic person would have purposely done lots of things to keep this your person's stress levels high because when you're in a state of stress and fear you can't see clearly you don't know what's going on because you're in a constant fight, fight or freeze. I feel like this person was constantly wa walking on eggshells. So again, it's like that uh, tower card, instability, insecurity, what's going to happen next? Um, I feel like this person, they would have gone through a lot of tower moments. Like the toxic person was very destructive. They would have had to face consequences if they didn't do what this to toxic person was expecting. And I feel like this person had totally unrealistic expectations of your person as well. So they literally could not do certain things or be a certain way because it was literally impossible. But then I feel like they were punished for that as well. Because narcissists, they just want any excuse, really, to um, punish you or, you know, have a rage fit. Get basically 
um, make you stress, make you hurt, stab you in the back so that they get their narcissistic supply or feel good from that. Cold. Yeah, your person, they felt left out in the cold. They felt very isolated in the situation. They felt very lonely. Um, I feel like they definitely, they had to create thick walls around themselves to protect themselves. So that was shutting them off in life. That was shutting them off from um, source as well and the divine. Like this person was under some sort of almost like mind control that all they could focus on was walking on those eggshells. So they, they lost, they either lost touch with their divinity and the divine or, you know, in some cases they weren't awakened yet. But when they met you, they woke up. That was worried <laughs> that just flew off over there, I believe. Yeah, worried. And we have thirsty. <clears throat> so thirsty to me is saying that they have they had like a, a really important need. Um, like they were running on empty. I feel like this person, the, the narcissist, had extracted so much from them that they were running on empty uh, and they're worried yeah this person kept them in a constant state of worry with threats they feel if they um, didn't do whatever this person wanted so what does this person really need to say to you right now wow they are so grateful for you coming into their life we have i'm much more secure in myself this is amazing and it's the nine of pentacles which is about independence this person will always love you because they know that your soul family they know that the divine sent you to make them have strength and be in love literally like in love with you but be in that energy of love coming back to love so, yeah, we had insecure with a toxic person. You make them feel secure, stable. And we have harmony is coming back. Wow. Because, yeah, the toxic narcissistic person would have tried to make all these tower moments and make them feel all over the place, emotional roller coasters. They didn't know what was left, what was right kind of thing. <sighs> This is harmony. We have the six of swords here as well, which is moving out of the choppy or roller coaster waters kind of thing, stormy waters into the calmness. Harmony is coming back. This is the temperance card. So there's a powerful heart connection between you both and you just through this amazing connection and you loving this person so much, they could feel all of that energy. That energy was soaking into them and filling them up with love because they were empty. What else do they need to say to you? Wow. Healing is here. The star. I feel like this person, they were praying for help or asking for help. They were really trying to get out of the toxic situation. And the star is like their dream come true. You came in. The hanged man. I'm pausing to get a better look at things. So your person, I feel, they were, yeah, this is seeing things from a different perspective. It normally, the hanged man normally shows the halo of light surrounding their head. So, yeah, you came in and the love shone the truth on everything and made them be able to see clearly so, and we have death, the death card, transformation, change is scary, but worth it. Your person felt imprisoned. They were trying to escape this situation, but they were so fearful of death of sorts and the ten of swords and tower moments if they were to leave this person because they're very destructive. But it was a blessing in disguise. It was a death and rebirth that was destined and has and has 
actually made them the light, the love and extremely strong and clear and on their path. So I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to look even deeper into what does your person really need you to know right now about their feelings for you. And we're going to look into lots of messages, cards and lots of other cards as well to really see what's going on, how they feel and what is going to unfold between you both as well. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment so I really hope to see you over there if this reading has resonated with you please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that all really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended